Welcome back to Geology Info. On yet another day of strong tremors in Naples, Italy, we see another warning sign from Campi Flegre. How much longer can this volcano endure? Leave a comment about it. Located in southern Italy, Naples is a city of great historical, cultural, and geological significance. With a population of over six million people in its metropolitan area, it has lived for centuries under the threat posed by the Campi Flegre supervolcano, a large caldera system that has shown frequent signs of activity. This region includes areas like Pozzuoli and Bagnoli, where ancient eruptions shaped the land and left deep marks on both the landscape and local memory. There are records of intense volcanic activity dating back to Roman times, making it one of the most closely monitored geological sites in the world. In recent decades, Campi Flegre has remained in a state of unrest, presenting a phenomenon known as Bradycism, which is the slow uplift and subsidence of the ground caused by the movement of magma and underground gases. This phenomenon has raised increasing concern, especially when accompanied by earthquakes, such as the recent tremor recorded in July. The history of intense activity, combined with disorganized urban expansion, makes the region extremely vulnerable to disasters in the event of a more severe geological event. Recently, a new seismic swarm began in the Campi Flegre region, with a standout tremor of magnitude 4. Although the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, officially confirmed this magnitude, residents in nearby areas, especially those in the so-called red zones like Pozzuoli, Bacoli, and Court, challenged the information. They reported the quake felt much stronger than four, describing a sudden boom and a violent shake that sent them running from their homes. The public outcry spread rapidly across social media, with hundreds of similar accounts. Many of these residents have lived through frequent tremors for years and say they've developed an acute sense of how strong an earthquake feels. They argue that the most recent shock was far more intense than other quakes of similar magnitude they've experienced before, raising suspicions that the actual force may have been underreported. These doubts have led to theories suggesting authorities might be intentionally downplaying the severity of events to avoid mass panic, protect tourism, and safeguard regional economic interests. The lack of evacuation in critical zones, even as seismic activity increases, and signs of geological instability become more apparent, contributes to a growing sense of insecurity among residents. Nonetheless, official agencies maintain they are monitoring the volcano closely and analyzing all data thoroughly. The earthquake's epicenter was located between Pozzuoli and the Neapolitan district of Bagnoli, at a depth of about 1.5 miles, 2,400 meters. This shallow depth helped the tremor propagate widely, being felt not only in Campi Flegre, but across several districts of Naples. Fortunately, there have been no reports of structural damage or loss of life so far. However, the tension remains, with the population staying alert amid increasing underground activity. The sequence of tremors in Campi Flegre shows no signs of stopping. On July 18th alone, aside from the magnitude 4 quake, Several smaller events were recorded, including tremors around magnitude 1.5 and even micro-earthquakes below magnitude 1. While these may go unnoticed by the general public, they are clear indicators of ongoing subsurface activity. This swarm has raised red flags among scientists who believe it could signify growing pressure within the volcano's caldera. In recent months, geologists have observed ground uplift, increased gas emissions, and rising subsurface temperatures, all characteristic of accelerating Bradycism. These signs often precede more serious events, such as strong earthquakes or even volcanic eruptions. One of the greatest concerns among experts is a potential phreatic eruption, triggered by the interaction between magma and underground water. These eruptions can be sudden and highly destructive, releasing steam and debris with immense force and posing an immediate risk to nearby communities. People living near the Solfatara crater in Pozzuoli, the most affected area, are used to this unstable routine. Many have slept in their cars or outdoors after previous events and feel that authorities are not being transparent about the risks. Public trust in the institutions responsible for monitoring and to responding to natural threats has eroded, fueling the spread of rumors and panic-driven theories throughout the community. Despite constant monitoring by the INGEV, many locals argue that there are no concrete safety measures in place, no organized evacuation plans or community training. In a densely populated region, with narrow streets and old buildings, a mass evacuation would be extremely difficult to carry out safely and efficiently. The absence of public drills and silence around emergency protocols only adds to the collective anxiety. 
The local press has also ramped up coverage of the tremors, with headlines emphasizing the strength of recent quakes and the increasing risk of new events. The fact that over six million people live in the greater Naples area significantly amplifies the danger of any geological occurrence. Even a moderate earthquake in a region with outdated and fragile infrastructure could cause serious material damage and loss of life, especially if it strikes during the night when most people are indoors. In this context, the role of science becomes even more essential. Italian and international researchers are joining forces to interpret the signals emerging from the Campi Flegrei caldera. While predicting the exact timing of an eruption is still impossible, the data being collected is vital for issuing timely warnings and guiding authorities in preventive action. The biggest challenge remains raising awareness without causing mass hysteria, balancing urgency with clarity. As tremors continue to accumulate in the Campi Flegrei region, the debate among locals and experts intensifies about the volcano's future. Many believe that the seismic activity observed in July is just one more step in an escalating sequence of instability. With a string of quakes exceeding magnitude 4 in the past two years, the signs of growing geological agitation are undeniable, and experts insist the situation demands ongoing vigilance. Some scientists claim that the frequency and intensity of tremors indicate an increasingly unstable underground system. Each new quake, especially the stronger ones, can shift internal pressures in ways that trigger even more dangerous events. Experts warn that a magnitude 5 quake could already be catastrophic for Naples, with thousands of homes at risk and a real possibility of widespread evacuation. Beyond the seismic threat, there's concern that built-up underground energy could trigger a localized eruption, particularly in zones with high gas emissions. Pozzuoli has already seen asphalt melting on some streets due to subsurface heat. This visible surface damage is a clear sign of magma rising closer to the surface, and it's something authorities can't afford to ignore. Another concern raised by international experts is the possibility of an eruption occurring beneath the Gulf of Pozzuoli. If that happens, there's a risk of giant waves hitting the coastline. Norwegian scientists estimate that, depending on the strength and location of the eruption, those waves could reach about 100 feet 30 meters high. Such a scenario would threaten the entire Naples coastline, including major neighborhoods and port areas. If you've made it this far, you likely care about what's happening in Campi Flegrei and want to understand the real risks threatening millions of lives. That's why it's crucial that more people get access to this type of information. Share this video with your friends and family, especially those living in the Campania region. Information saves lives and can make all the difference when time is short. If you like this content, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any important updates. Here, we explain Earth's natural phenomena clearly and directly. Stick with us to follow the latest developments in Campi Flegrei and other high-risk regions. See you in the next video.